integrate 11 over z minus 14 to the 11th power. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So the idea is that we have something here to a power. So we can probably turn this into like x to a power or u to a power, and then we can use the power rule. Before we do that though, we need to make a substitution. So typically what we do is we let u be the inside piece. So in this case, u is equal to z minus 14. After that, we compute the derivative. So the derivative of u is just du, and the derivative of z is just dz. The 14 goes away because its derivative is 0. OK, rewriting this, we have the indefinite integral. So the 11 hangs out. OK, you can pull the 11 out, or you can multiply both sides by 11, or you can just let it hang out. I like letting it hang out. It's just easier. And then this is u to the 11, and the dz becomes r du. Those 11s look really funny. Uh, we're not quite there yet. The goal is to get something to a power so we can use the power rule. So we can bring the u to the 11 upstairs, and that'll become a u to the negative 11 du. So now we're in a good place. Okay, The 11 just hangs out. So 11, and then we use the power rule on this piece here. So we add 1 to the negative 11. So it's u to the negative 10 over negative 10. Right? You divide by it. Just add 1, you get negative 10, and then divide by that, and plus c. Running out of room, I'll come up here. This is equal to negative 11 tenths. And let's bring this u back downstairs to make it positive. So 1 over u to the 10th, beautiful stuff, plus c. For some reason, I feel like the 11 is making this problem harder. And this is negative 11 over 10. I don't like it. <laughs> Times, and then 1 over, and then u was this piece here. So z minus 14. This is a, a really good problem. I mean, this is like a classic um, you know, calculus type, a calculus problem, not calculus type. It is a calculus problem. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Take care.